So I am out here working on finishing the pipes, connecting all that up. So that's not glued in yet. So just getting those in and putting the screenings around it and then I'll tamp it all and then some more screenings and tamp. And then it'll just sit like that for a while until we uh, decide if this is gonna be travertine right on top of the screenings or if we're gonna pour concrete out here. Probably better to just travertine on top of the screening since uh, we got all these pipes under there, but I have to decide that. So let's get to it. Thought I'd just update you real quick on what I'm doing. And uh, that's pretty much my agenda today is to get this done. And then Josh organized the containers. So I've got all these fittings. That's the only thing he didn't do because I'm using them. And get that organized and uh, cleaned up and should get us going. Woot, woot, woot. Man, lake's looking a lot better. It's nice, nice to see. Got a new burn pile. These pages turning, yesterday is burning. Now's the time for learning. The future has come. I feel the times are changing. I see the light escaping. A season for connecting. Tomorrow has dawn. Dreaming with a vision, seeing new horizons. I just got a feeling. Freedom has come. Hearing sound and color. And the future has come. Are you ready for the way coming? I'll start the fire. Gonna take it higher. I've been ready for the day coming. The sun's getting brighter. Right now, it's a golden age. Oh, it's a golden age. Yeah, I believe it's a golden age. The energy's away. Sorrows I ain't chasing, gonna overcome. The rhythm is a healing, so I stay here in the feeling. So illuminating, like a rising sun. And the future has come. I should be able to see because it's getting dark, but I'm done for the day. I'm out of screenings. They were supposed to bring me another load, but they didn't make it. They brought a load of stone, but it was last minute we called for it, so can't complain. Be here tomorrow. Do some funky 
piping over there. So I'm just working my way in with the screenings over everything. I'm actually gonna fill this, I've decided to fill this to the top with screenings. So that'll be all the way over here and out. And then once you get out past the edge here, it'll start to you know, taper off and blend into this, to whatever final height we have out here. All kinds of fun. I got a little overzealous right here with my screens. So I'll clean the skimmer out, that's okay. Fill that in tomorrow and finish off my little drain tomorrow over here. Then I can stop procrastinating. I guess I gotta get back to work on something else, right? So I'll just go ahead and wait till tomorrow after I'm done with all this and then in. that's probably what I'll do. But if not, I'll see you in the next video. If I come right back, then you'll know. All right, that wasn't the end. Got another pile of screenings. If you don't know what screenings are, like I didn't know what they were until Chris first brought them on the property three years. Man, yeah, over three years ago, three and a half years ago since we started, wow. Anyway, it's like sand, but it's the, I guess it's the screenings and leftovers from when they're doing rock. And so it packs like sand and everything, but it's less money than getting sand, but it packs really well. So, came out here today, my little French drain deal is done, my catch basin's done, it's covered back up. I put some dirt in here, of course I'll probably have Chris finish grade it off, but just want to get that kind of coming up to level it's going to be. And now I can go ahead and finish all this with screenings, which will be all the way up to that edge, as I talked about earlier, because pavers are going on it. Then I'll clean all that mess up. There's no reason putting anything right in there because we got that retaining wall has to go. But once this is in and tamped down, I can get close with the bucket and some rocks and finish putting rock in there. Um, Tater and Jeff are coming tomorrow, so I'm going to have them clean that whole room out so it'll be ready for con and cut the rebar so that'll be ready for concrete uh, James is going up to Superform to pick up more MST rebar so we're going to need some more I didn't really need it yet but I will need it so we're going and getting that because uh, we need it for the retaining walls some bent corners and stuff in fact I need to that reminds me I need to do a final count make sure I ordered enough but that's dug out I already showed you that so yeah so let's get to it
so that's all out there all the screenings uh, we will need more than this but we're gonna take the tamp and uh, tamp all this tomorrow then I'll add some more while I've got tater here so he can run the tamp while I'm adding as we need uh, and then we'll get all this up clean that room out get it ready for concrete and add more dirt on this side of the screenings going down towards the lake that needs to be kind of you know graded off so but uh yes yeah, better than it was it's closer things are covered up now we can walk around on it so uh that's a long way to go though this has to get leveled out but getting there see you tomorrow when we tamp all right so that's packed in ran out with the plate compactor over there uh, it'll probably take everything we got left to finish leveling this out, but mess with that a little later. Just wanted to get this in, have everything covered up. That's filled in. Jeff's adjusting that. Got all the crap out of there, so that's good, right? Yes, sir. This is ready for concrete, so that'll be our opening to get in and out and we'll be able to get the uh the biggest things the filter and it comes out through that space so that's good um that's a spare two inch pipe and a spare one inch conduit so i'm gonna put ends on those and turn those up so we know where they're at to get back to them that'll get flattened out this gets cut back when chris digs for that wall this all gets graded out away from this so yeah, overall that's uh, filled in at least. Just wanted that before we started Monday on finishing the pool because they didn't want to be tripping over that stuff all the time. We changed pumps. We put a new pump in there. Uh, better cast iron, yada yada. So the, in here, we got that old pump. We've got it rigged to run all the time when we turn it on without the float. And I'm going to uh, rig the turn all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and get pick up some piping for that too. So we can pump that the rest of the way out, clean that bottom. And hopefully in about a week, the pools will be ready to uh, start filling with water. Yay, that'd be so great. Lake looks great. It's not supposed to be a... Uh, you know, like a swimming pool where you see through it. So that's nice. It's uh, kind of a light brown right now. It could get a little more towards the bluish black, kind of dark blue black type of things. But for now, it's better than that uh, light tan mud looking color. So we'll take it. And I think that's gonna do it for this video. Appreciate everybody watching, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.